Hey guys, so today I am going to do a tutorial for the look I wore in my vlog video and stuff's falling down. Um, but in the video I had really, really dark purple lips, but today I just kind of put this lipstick on. It came in a kit from Walmart, and under that I just put a dark purple eyeliner on my lips, so that's how you could get that. But I'm going to jump right into it since this look is pretty dramatic. So it may take me a while. Um, I've already primed my lid from lash line to brow bone and a little underneath. And I'm not going to tell you guys what products I'm using because I want you guys to kind of figure it out for yourselves. And kind of pick the products that you think will work best for you. But I'm going to take a really bright lime green color. And I'm going to pat that on my lid. Now this is my first tutorial back. So I'm a little out of practice, but, okay, so it's a little over half, but we're going to blend it in anyways, and I'm pretty sure the lighting sucks, so bear with me on that one. I haven't changed my lighting, and I'm taking a darker lime green and putting that on my outer lid. Um, I haven't really changed the lighting, so I don't know why it's showing up differently on my camera. It might show up differently when I upload the video. But now I'm just kind of going back and forth between those two colors and blending them in to one another. So you have something kind of like that. Okay, and now I'm going to take a crease brush and I'm going to take a darker green. I'm going to get it on the tip and I'm going to tap off a lot of that because we're gonna kinda go lately and we're gonna bring it into about here so we're gonna leave about a fourth I guess that would be untouched now I've seen people tap the brush this way you can do it either way whichever works best for you And now when we've got that kind of basic shape, I'm going to take fluffy brush, same green, same concept, we're going to tap off the excess, and blend up. Now this I took up really high, so if you don't normally take your shadows that high or you'd prefer not to, then you don't have to. But, uh, I usually, I usually take mine fairly high. Just because that's the look I like. And if I'm going to do something, to me, see, the, to me, this is wearable. To other people, probably not so much. So, and I'm just kind of taking that color and blending it. And now I'm going to take another kind of shader brush and I'm going to take a silver color and I'm going to place that right on the inner corner and I'm going to kind of blend it up. Now I'm going to take a dense, this is a sponge tip applicator and I'm going to, oh boy, I'm going to take and in the green, I'm going to use darker green. So we're using all greens basically and I'm going to partially draw out that crease. Um, for this, you could blend this out if you really wanted to, but I kind of like that sort of harsh line. So now I'm going to take my blending brush again, and we're just going to blend that out. So we've got something like that. And now we're going to dip that same sponge tip applicator in black. And I am going to ever so lightly draw above where I just drew that dark green. And this I'm going to keep pretty harsh. I'm not going to blend this out. 
Now this might look a little different from the look that I had on in the video because I am doing this the next day. And you're just going to want to try and match up the sides here. They're obviously not going to be too, too even because nobody's perfect and I'm just blending that out. So we've got something like that. And I'm going to take that darker green and I'm going to bring it more in, like so, on the inner corner right there. And blend that out. And once you've got that, I'm going to work on the bottom lash line and I'm going to take that same silver and I have green and purple all over my hand. And I'm going to put that on pretty thickly on my lower lash line and then I'm going to take that brightest green that we used and I just need to check the time really quick because I can't see <laughs> okay and we're going to take that green and we're going to put it kind of in the middle and overlapping the silver so I don't know if you can see that like right under here and we're going to take that middle green place it on the middle and the outer half and we're going to take that darker green. And with this, we're going to connect it right here, going up. And we're going to brush away our fallout because Silly Me did my face beforehand. Now with this, what I like to do is I like to go like this and then bring it up very gently. So you've got that. And now... To highlight, I'm going to kind of get as much green off the brush as I can, and I'm going to take a very metallic uh, white, and I'm going to place that right under the brow bone, so I don't know if you can kind of see that. And I'm going to turn my brush sideways, so I'm going to turn it this way. So we can kind of make sure everything's blended out. Then after that, I'm going to line my upper and lower waterline with the black eyeliner. If you're not comfortable uh, lining your upper waterline, you don't have to. But I think it kind of gives it a more dramatic look. So it kind of fills out your lashes. And then after that, I'm going to take my mascara. Use your favorite. You obviously are going to see that this is the Colossal. Um, but use whatever mascara works good for you. And whatever mascara is going to give your lashes. Uh, lots of volume and uh, length. Because you kind of want the illusion of false lashes without actually having to have them on. So this is pretty much the finished look. On my face, I have foundation and I contoured slightly. And let me put my glasses on so I can see. And can you tell I'm out of practice? I'm dropping things. But I contoured right here and kind of up into my temples. A little bit just to kind of give me a little more of that sunken in look which I think looks really good with this so I will kind of move in so you guys can see keep in mind this is my first tutorial uh, back and this is the first time I've actually worn makeup other than eyeliner and mascara in a long time so, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Again, if you guys have any requests, and I think I have something on my cheek. Oh, yes. There. Somehow I ended up with green on my cheek. But, um, if you guys have any requests, things you want to see, uh, reviews, pretty much anything, just let me know and I will do my best to get that out for you. So until next time, I will talk to you guys soon. Bye!